A scientist initially measures 12,000 bacteria in a growth medium. Four hours later, the scientist measures 24,000 bacteria. Assuming exponential growth, the formula P equals C times 2 raised to the RT gives the number of bacteria in the growth medium, where R and C are constants and P is the number of bacteria T hours after the initial measurement. What is the value of R? Okay, so we have this equation, this exponential growth equation that models this problem. And we are given that the initial amount of bacteria in the medium is 12,000. So that means at times T equals zero, which is the initial condition at t equals zero, the initial population of the bacteria is 12,000. So if we plug 12,000 in for p, so 12,000, and then t as zero, we would be able to solve for the value of c. So we have c here times two, and then this would be raised to the zero, because anything times zero is just zero. Okay, so then 2 raised to the 0 is just 1, so we'll just be left with a C on this side, and the 12,000 will still be on this side. So that means C is equal to 12,000. <clears> okay, so now we, can, we have everything we need in the equation except for the value of R, which is what we're going to need to solve for now. Okay, so our equation looks like this right now, P equals 12,000 times 2 raised to the r t, where r is some constant and t is the number of hours. So our equation, our problem statement here says that four hours later, the population becomes 24,000. So let's just, we can just plug that in for p and t, then we can solve for the value of r. So the population after four hours is 24,000, so p is just 24,000. <clears> we still have the 12,000 here times 2 raised to the r but then this time t is equal to 4 because this is 4 hours later okay so now let's divide both sides by 12,000 so when we divide both sides by 12,000 we get a 2 on this side <coughs> and we're left with 2 raised to the 4r okay so then here this 2 is just raised to an exponent of 1 and since the bases are the same, we just need to set the exponents equal to each other in order to satisfy this equation. So what we need to find the value of r, we need to solve this equation here, 1 equals 4r. So we can just divide both sides by 4, and we'll get that r is equal to 1 fourth. So the value of r is just 1 fourth, which is answer choice B.